Okay, this is the dish that launched my career in cooking. And I'm gonna put it in a glass dish so that you can see what it looks like. This is what I used to take to potlucks all the time. And it was so much fun because I would just throw it together. I'd go get a couple of bushels of, of Swiss chard at the store. I'd clean them, break them with my hands, throw them in a little bit of water, a steamer, and then put them in the pan, add my oil and my seeds and my tamari, and I would take it to the potluck and everyone would say, what is that dish over there? What, what is that? And everyone started approaching me. And it's my signature dish, so to speak. And it's so simple. I, I used to say, well, don't be silly. It's, it's uh, you know, I can't write a cookbook on Swiss chard. And they'd say, but it's so good. <laughs> but it, it is what started everything. And I realized that these oils just have such a diff uh, beautiful flavor that it seemed to wake up people's taste buds, like, where I've never tasted this before. And it would feel so wholesome, just wholesome to them, that it was part of what they liked about it, not to mention that it tastes good. Because, you know, a food has to resonate with you. It's, it's got to just re resonate with your being. And after you eat it, you want to feel good. You don't want to feel full or sluggish. You want to feel light and, and fed. And that's what's wonderful about these oils and all the foods I'm showing you today because you will not be able to overeat them. So I'm going to do the same thing with this dish. And if you wanted to, we could have used the pumpkin seeds on this one. That would have been nice. So on this particular dish, I'm going to use the um, sesame seeds again because it's so pretty on the green and I love the flavors together. You know, I even have a friend that says she she'd never eat Swiss chard, and when I told her about this, she said I was actually making her sick. <laughs> so I said, come home and let me make it for you. And I sautéed a couple of eggs, and we made this for her for breakfast, and she ate every single bit of it and loved it. So on this one, I'm going to use the Omega Man because we're going to get that little pumpkin seed flavor. And again, I'm going to squirt it. And I don't want you to be shy, you know, and don't worry about the fat content. It's not going to be too much fat for you because you're not going to be eating this whole dish. Now, the reason this isn't squirting out is because of the lignans. And the lignans are those fine little pieces I was telling you about, and they've just gotten kind of, kind of stuck in there. So I'm just going to open it up. Now, if you're not sure about squirting it, you think you might squirt too much, just go ahead and, and pour it, take off the top, and pour it into a tablespoon and drizzle it on like that. And this one, again, we're going to use a slightly smaller amount of tamari. And the reason is, is because we're all going to be eating this, and I don't want to have too much tamari flavor. What I'd like to have is a little bit of the Celtic, Celtic sea salt. So we'll just put a little bit of salt on that. And there you go. And this is a great dish to take to a potluck or to a family gathering or to Thanksgiving dinner or any holiday. So there we have three beautiful dishes. And that's it for our simple sauce. In our next segment, we're going to work with coconut oil. And I'm going to make some delicious sauces and dressings that have a little bit more complex recipes. But enjoy. Was that simple or what? Was that easy? Just pour it on and eat it.